working late again. Great job, me. My name is Sabasa Liri. I'm a regular employee at a regular company. I don't have many complaints against my company, but the one thing that I wish were different was how much overtime that made me work. Ugh, I don't want to make my own food. I'm just going to go to bed. As I lie down in bed, I heard a sound from the other side of the wall. Ah, neighbor's home. A beautiful woman lives next door to me. Her name is Tanari-san, I think. She moved in last week. She lives alone, but she came by to give me a gift when she moved in. Oh, sorry for coming by when it's so late, but I just moved in next door. My name is Tanari. Oh, thank you so much. I cannot believe that a beautiful woman would move next door to my house like that. It sucked that I happened to answer my pajamas, though. After that, I'd run into her a few times, but we just said hello to each other. But, huh? It's a Nori-san. One Friday night, I came home extra late from work. She was in the hotel lobby, curled into a ball. What? Are you okay? What happened? Hmm? Oh, hey, it's Mr. Neighbor Man. <laughs> That's weird. I was in the taxi. She was quite drunk. There was a hint of sadness behind her smile, but before I asked... I had to take her to her room. I decided to help carry her to her room. Can you open my door? Here's my keys. Wait, I'm not sure if I should go inside. I was a little worried, but I opened the door and let her inside. But, no bed? A sleeping bag on the floor? She hasn't brought any furniture? Ugh, water. Um, have you been sleeping in a sleeping bag since you moved in? Huh? Yeah? That's not good. Uh, hang on, I'll bring you a blanket from my house. Okay. Uh... Don't go to sleep. I could have lent her myself a bed, but I figured she would freak out after she woke up, so I didn't even try. I brought a pillow and a blanket from my house and let her use it. The apartment auto locks, so I think it'll be okay if I leave. I'll just check in on her tomorrow morning. I'm going home for now. The next morning, I woke up to my doorbell ringing. On the other side was Tanari-san. Um, excuse me. I'm so sorry about last night. Oh, great, you remember. Sorry, I know I kind of just pushed my pillow and blanket on you. How did you sleep? Oh, yeah, I'm so sorry. Would you like to have some breakfast with me? It would really help me out since I needed to get rid of these eggs before they go bad. Okay, um, I'll pay you back. And somehow I was having breakfast with a beautiful girl next door. So, uh, what happened to you? Huh? It's not normal for you to be in a ball in the lobby. Or is that something that happens often for you? Uh, I kind of just drank too much because I was upset. Upset? Well, I work as a nail artist during the day and work nights at the bar. Did you have too much to drink at the bar? No, no, last night I was off. I was drinking with one of my nail artist friends. She told me her story. Apparently she was dreaming of opening her own nail salon and... She just worked at a bar because it was one of the fastest ways to earn money. However, her boyfriend that she'd been with recently had just been mooching off of her. He had stolen all of her savings, all $10,000. Why did you use my money? What? I was just gonna double it at the slots. It's just $10,000. I can get it back in no time. You're going to spend more money? Stop it already. Shut up. Don't you dare talk back to me. I worked so hard for that money. I'm sorry. Your boyfriend sounds like a horrible person. I wanted to tell her to break up with him, but we're just neighbors, so I probably had no right barging in. Also, figure she has a boyfriend. I mean, she's so cute. She apparently got in a huge fight with her boyfriend and left the house in the storm. This was the place she ended up at. I've got a sleeping bag from a friend that I was with a few days ago. I ran out, so I have to buy more furniture, you know? I'm waiting on it to be delivered, but... I see, so it's been a rough few days, huh? Yeah, I was surprised when a blonde girl moved in next door. Kinda made me wonder what kind of work you did, but now it's all starting to make sense. <laughs> right, I know. It's scary. Oh, no, no, I don't mean surprise like that. I just meant you looked so good as a blonde. Thank you. I broke up with my boyfriend already, so I'm going to enjoy my new life here. Yeah, um, wait, you broke up with him? Yeah, I don't want to see that horrible man. So you're telling me there's a chance? The beautiful neighbor that suddenly came into my life? We had a surprise breakfast and suddenly, I was hopeful that I might be able to make her mine. The day after next, Monday evening. Phew, finally got out of work on time for once. Think I'll... 
Yeri-san! What are you doing to Nari-san? Yeri-san, save me! My bed is here! Huh? Oh, that's a good thing, right? Oh, I can't build a bed! Oh, I see. Can I ask for your help? This is what we in the business like to call uh, a chance. Great job for me for not staying behind and working late. Leave it to me! Wow, you built it so quickly! <laughs> this is because you helped me out. Um, I'd like to show you my appreciation. Have you eaten dinner yet? N no, not yet. Okay, then come, eat with me. This will be my thank you for before, too. Uh, okay, sure. Wow, you're really good at cooking. Oh, you. I'm not that amazing. It's just regular food. That's not true. It really is good. You really love that up, huh? Huh? Tanari-san? Are you okay? I'm just so happy. Huh? My ex never said my cooking was good. He wouldn't make anything with me either. Tanori-san? I was always so worried. He was such a piece of crap, but after breaking up with him, I was all alone and sad. I wasn't sure if I could live in this house all alone. I'm just lucky that my neighbor, that you're such a kind person and willing to save me. If you're okay with a guy like me helping you, you can call me anytime. I'm also a lonely guy that lives alone. <laughs> We're similar, so if there's anything I can do to help, I will. Sure, thank you. That day, we exchanged our contact info, and I learned that her first name was Julie. It was a beautiful name for a beautiful woman. Ever since, when I didn't work late or she was off, we would cook with each other about two to three days a week. Yeti-san, it's burning! You're burning it! <laughs> uh, sorry about that. I've just been eating cup noodles until I met you. Well, you're not gonna get all your nutrients with that! I'm glad that we could cook together sometimes. Oh, sure. I can handle your health and nutrition. Oh, yeah, right, nutrition. Sometimes she would say things that made it seem like... Anyway, I was having a great time. Then one day... Woo! I had a great time working late today, too. What is that song? Did you have some drinks alone after you worked late? Well, how long have you been there? I just got home a second ago. Hey, I actually made too much curry last night. So you'd be doing me a favor by taking it off my hands. I have something I'd like to tell you, too. Huh? What is it? I went by her house to pick up the curry. I actually got the 10k back from my ex-boyfriend. Huh? Really? How? Well, his father contacted me the other day, and... I heard what happened with you and my son. I'm so sorry for the trouble he's caused you. It's also my responsibility for letting him run rampant. I want you to let me compensate for the money that he took from you. I can give you the cash or transfer it to your account. You can just tell me which one you want. Today, before going to her shift at the bar, she got the money from him around her workplace. Thank you so much! Her ex's father was apparently a friend of a regular at her bar. That friend heard about what had happened between Julie and her ex and contacted the ex's father. I got lucky that my ex's father was someone with common sense. That's great! I'm so glad to hear it! I just wanted to let you know, ASAP. <laughs> All right, now you can work towards your dreams, huh? Yeah, I can start building towards my business. But if you're gonna be busy with that, you won't be able to hang out as much, huh? No, I don't care what kind of situation I'm in. I'd love to be with you, Tsubasa. What are you... Wait, did you just call me Tsubasa? Yes, I'd love to call you that. The reason I was able to get over my ex was thanks to you. So I'd love to continue being around you. So... Then, here's your key. Huh? This is so that you can come over whenever you want. Th uh, thank you. Let's go out. Of course, let's. She was just a neighbor, but who knew this is what would happen? I don't care if she's a bar girl or a nail artist, as long as I could be around her forever. But that would be a story that happened a little later. High school. Guys, this is Takato Sakuragi. He'll be joining our class starting today. Yeah. yeah! Why don't you introduce yourself? Uh, my name is Takato Sakuragi. Uh, is that more? Mm. My name is Takato Sakuragi, and I transfer schools every few months because of my parents' job. I've grown to believe making friends is a waste of time since I know I have to leave them behind. Uh, so, uh, Sakuragi seems like a shy guy. Let's make him feel at home, okay? I don't need to feel at home. Sakuragi, you can sit next to Kuonji. She's a class representative. Sure. Hey, it's nice to meet you. My name is Mikoto Kuonji. Please, let me know if there's anything I can do to make you feel more comfortable. 
She doesn't talk like a high school student. More like an old lady. Hey, Sakuragi-kun. You came from Tokyo, right? I heard there are many hot guys there. Is it true? Uh, I guess. What about cute goyles? Hmm. They all bombarded me with questions on the first day. But they'll get bored and leave me alone after a few days. I'm home. Oh, hi, Takato. How was your first day of school? How many times have you asked me that question? You don't have to do that anymore. It's a waste of time. Okay, so, Takato, about all the moving around... Ugh, I'm tired. I'm going to my room. Takato... I know you feel guilty about making me move so much, but you don't have to feel bad. It's not your fault that Dad's job is hectic. I'm not blaming you guys for anything. A few days later... Hmm. Why, the new kid is here! Why don't you go talk to him? Ugh, it's so difficult to have a conversation with him. All he says is, yeah, or, or I guess. You're right. It's like he looks down on us. Yeah, he's a jerk. I'm moving in a few months. What's the point of making friends? I don't want to waste my time and energy. Sakuragi-kun! Huh? I wrote down everything you need to know in this notebook. You can use it to catch up in class. Oh, uh, thank you. Makoto Kuonji-san. She's so weird. Not just the way she talks. She keeps approaching me when I'm obviously trying to avoid any contact. Maybe it's because she's a class representative. She passes notes to me during class, and she asks if I need help whenever I'm not moving my pencil. koji san was the only girl that kept trying to make a connection with me after the first few days. I can tell she's a nice person by how she treats me, but there's nothing I can do for her even if she is kind to me. Hey, the new kid's going home! Thank God, he dampens the room whenever he's around. It's depressing. Hmm. Jeez, the least they can do is wait for me to leave the room first. Uh, not that I care. Hey, new kid! Oh? The teacher told me you used to play tennis. He said you were pretty good. You should join the tennis club. Today's a perfect day. No thanks. I won't be here for long anyways. Come on, don't say that. You can sign up and decide later. The whole team is inexperienced or love to have an experienced player. I said no. Hmm. After school. Um, Sakuragi-sama. Uh-huh. Sama? Can you teach me how to play with fire? What? What do you mean, play with fire? Are you talking about smoking and drinking? I've never done either, and I don't plan on doing it soon. I'm not a rule breaker or a delinquent, I'm just an unfriendly guy. Why is she asking me to teach her? Playing with fire? I mean, eating and shopping. I've heard of something called karaoke. Or we could go window shopping, things everybody else does. Uh... Oh, I know, it's sudden. I apologize. May I have a few minutes to explain myself? Uh, sure. I am the first daughter born in the Kuonji family. My family honors tradition and is strict in all ways. I have been declining offers from my classmates because my parents would never accept their ways. However, I am a teenage girl. I want nothing more than to forget about my family and have a total blast! Uh-huh, so why are you asking me? Mm. Is it because you'll be moving soon? You want to practice making friends by using me? Is that right? You don't have to phrase it in such a horrible way! But that's why you want to hang out with me, right? Well, yes, that is the gist. I guess my time here will be better spent if I use it to help somebody. Okay, that's fine with me. But what about your family? I am ready to cut ties with my family, if they decide not to support my decisions. Do you have to go that far? She's different. Not an average high school student, but I don't think she's a bad person. We plan to meet during the weekend since she had a strict curfew on school days. Hey, Takuto, where are you going? Uh, I'm meeting up with a classmate. A classmate? Oh my, did you make a friend? It's not like that. Oh? Hey, why don't you bring a snack? There's no need for that, Mom. Takuto... Wait! Walking with Kyunji-san is gonna make us look like a couple. Thank you for waiting. Hey, wait, what? Is something wrong? You're wearing a kimono. I picked a casual kimono. Does it not suit me? Is it the color? C casual? You consider that casual. Uh, isn't it hard to walk in those shoes? I'm not the escorting ladies first type of guy. That is not a problem. I hope I learned many things from you today, Sakuragi-sama. So, I'm Kyonji-san's teacher now. First, we went to eat taiyaki at a shop near the station. Kyonji-san's eyes were sparkling as she watched the professionals pour the batter into the hot plates. Is that a fish shape I see? You don't know what a taiyaki is? What do you want to put inside? I'm picking custard cream. There are so many flavors. What should I pick? Is there anything you recommend? How about sweet bean paste? It's Japanese style. It'll fit well with your kimono. Sweet bean paste it is! 
Next, we visited a crepe booth. Now we don't bump into anybody from school. Oh my, they're twirling those sticks to spread the batter. I've never seen anything like this. It's a crepe. It might make you full, but you can try it if you want. Are you sure? I'm curious about the strawberry cheesecake and tiramisu flavor. But what if I can't finish them both? Will it be too much? Fine, I'll eat the leftovers if you get full. That sounds quite naughty. That would be indirect kissing. Oh my. Yeah, you have to say it like that. Don't you want to eat it? <laughs> it's a little joke. I can tell that you're trying to grant all my wishes. You are a kind man, Sakuragi-sama. I am a lucky girl. Yeah, okay. After that, we went to karaoke. Um... Look, he pressed his button. Oh, I see Enka. Enka? My grandmother loves Enka. I used to listen to it all the time. Sakuragi-sama, what kind of songs do you usually sing? Uh, recent J-pop hits? I... am not familiar with current Japanese music. We practiced singing that one song in music class. You can try putting in that one. You're right. I can... sing with me? She's so close, and she smells nice. Hey, stop thinking about that! There's another mic right here! She can't come so close to a guy in a private room, it's unsafe! Lastly, I took Kianji-san to an arcade. Are these all gambling machines? I'm not sure I should be... They're just metal games. They're legal. Oh, do you see the adorable stuffed animals? Oh, that's a crane game. Ugh, it's so crowded in here. The place was bustling. I knew we would have a hard time getting to the crane games. We would have to weave through the crowd, and kuanji san was wearing a kimono. This is hard. The people, um, we don't have to get the crane games. I'll be fine without the stuffed animal. I heard what she was saying, but what's the point of meeting up during the weekend if we don't do what we want? I need to grant her wish no matter what. Here, hold my hand. Stay near me so you don't get lost. Oh, Sakuragi-sama. Excuse me, coming through. <gasps> wow, are you sure? Of course, I got out my first try. You can have it. Sakuragi-sama, thank you so much. Uh, we finished going around basic entertainment spots. She looked excited the whole day. High school students don't have many options when it comes to hangout locations. But it didn't matter since I had a lot of fun as well. I feel a bit embarrassed about how I was acting, but everything was so new. I could never experience any of it in the dorms. Dorms? I thought you lived with your parents. It's a family tradition for the children of the Kyonji family to go to Mantan High School. It's far from the main house, and we live in dorms to learn about the real world. I see. Oh, you said you had strict rules. Do they apply to when you're in the dorms as well? To be completely honest, we don't have to follow the rules in the dorms. My older brother told me stories about how they lived freely when they were in high school. However, I felt guilty. Whenever I thought about my father and mother... I know you had older brothers. Did they live in the dorms as well? Yes. I see. Dorms, huh? Um, may I ask you a personal question? Sakuragi-san, why do you move around so much? Oh, my father gets transferred all over the country. All over the country? So he never stays in one spot for so long? You have to move with him? Yep, to tell you the truth, I wish I could stay in one place. I would love to try it for after-school activities, but that's not an option for me. Would you consider asking your parents if you could stay in the dorms? Huh? My brother stayed in the men's dormitories. Not many people know they exist, so your parents might not know. You only live once. You shouldn't waste your prime days. You should make the best of them. Thank you. I think I'll ask my parents if they will let me stay here. Yes, go home and do that. Having Kuanji-san support me was reassuring. I went home and asked my parents for their approval. Takuto living in a dormitory? Mm -hmm. I know it's selfish of me to ask, but I really want to stay. Don't be ridiculous. You have a right to be selfish. You're still a child. Huh? We've been feeling so guilty about making you move around so much. I know it hasn't been easy for you. I'm so glad you came to talk to us about this. This is the first time you're asking us for something. Mom... Takato, I know we haven't been giving you any freedom so far, but you deserve to live a good life. Living apart doesn't make us any less family. Don't worry about us. We want you to enjoy high school. Well, this is a great decision. Dad, thanks, both of you. My parents moved to another prefecture a few months later. I stayed behind, which meant I could stay at one school for more than half a year for the first time in my life. I heard the great news, Sakuragi-sama. You're joining the tennis club. Yep, I'm staying. Might as well make the best of it. I want to do everything I can. I'm so happy for you. We are young. We deserve to live freely.
I agree 100%. Um... Yeah? I was wondering, does the tennis club need a manager by any chance? I want to stay by your side. I think my life will be better with you close by. Oh, uh, you do? Well, I think they've been looking for a manager. The tennis club needs more people to keep it up and running. Oh, but maybe I shouldn't. <laughs> huh? Why? I have a serious crush on you, Sakuragi-sama. I don't want to cause any relationship troubles for the club. What if somebody breaks your rackets or puts thumbtacks inside your tennis shoes? Why would anybody do that to me? Wait, did you, did you just say crush? Oh, no, um, I can't believe I just told you that. How inappropriate of me, but I would love to play more fire with you. Oh, uh, what? Yo, Sakuraki Kun, there you are. Let's get going. We have a lot of practicing to do. <laughs> hey, wait! B please wait! Sakuragi Sama! You wanna know what happened to us after that? Well, I'll leave that up to your imagination. Masato, this won't work. With this kind of revision, we won't be able to send it. Yes, I'll do it again. My name is Masato Kamiki. I work as a businessman in an exploitative company. Low salary, work overtime every day, and an incompetent boss. I'm always taking the last train home. Oh, I'm so tired. I ended up taking the last train home again today. I'm living in the countryside because I don't have any money and take the train for over an hour to get to work every day. I want to move closer to work, but the rent... I'm home! <laughs> There's no one here, so it's no use me saying that. Every day I eat the cup noodles I bought in bulk. I know it's unhealthy, but it's useful because it's so cheap. Hello, Masato? The paperwork you did is no good. We need this ASAP, so come in tomorrow morning and redo it. Um, but tomorrow's Saturday. No buts! Okay, thanks, bye! What? Ugh, like this, we basically don't get any holidays. And having to work on weekends happens all the time. Hey, 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 Masato! Why have your hands stopped moving? Get it together! Sorry. You're still in your 20s, right? How are you gonna get through life if even this tires you out? Yes. It's obvious that someone like you will get the same treatment wherever you go. Yes. We're in a recession right now, so it'll be hard to find another job right now. If you think that, get your hands moving. Our job is to work for the company, like a cart horse. <laughs> Ow! This coffee is way too hot. Who made this? Why is this person making someone make his coffee on a weekend? Uh, I just have to accept everything no matter how unreasonable it is. Someone incompetent like me could never find another job anyway. I ended up working until the evening. I was planning on sleeping more than usual today. Anyways, we got through the day. How's that? But I ache all over. I just want to quickly get in bed. While I was walking. <sighs> um, oh, sorry. After getting him up, I saw that he was a very slender boy. He had a pretty face and was exactly someone you could call a pretty boy. Um, why are you barefoot? I got lost in the woods. I think they came off then. Oh, really? Woods? We're in the countryside, but there's nothing you can call woods nearby. I want to leave him, but my goodwill won't let me do that. How old are you? Are you a university student? If it's just to take care of your wounds, I could do that at my place. Oh, I'm 21. I work. What? Really? Maybe my judgment was off because I was so tired. Normally, I would leave him or let the police handle it. Okay, you wouldn't should be fine now. Thank you. Oh, sorry. Oh, he's hungry. But I only have cup noodles. Hmm, I have rice, so maybe instant miso soup and rice balls would be better? Here you are! What? You're even giving me food? Don't worry about it. You're hungry, right? Y yes uh, oky thank you. Wow, he's really scoffing it down. You must have been really hungry. I still have some work to do, so you can just lay down in the bed. <sighs> So fast! Oh, he must have been really tired. The next morning, I didn't have to go in on the weekend, but they instructed me to do something unreasonable again, so I was working from the morning. Uh, hey. Oh, good morning. Sorry, I'm, I'm a bit busy. Are you okay? Huh? Oh yeah, oh, I'm okay. Thanks. I'll come again to thank you. What's the closest station? I'll go home once I come again later. Um, if you go right after you leave the building and keep going straight, yeah, you'll reach the nearest station. And it might not be your size, but you can take the inside slippers if you want. Hmm? Did he say he'll come back to thank me? Thank you. I'll come again. He's coming again? Can he even get back home alright? 
He left without time for me to stop him, so I focused on my work. Ah, finished. Finally got a day off. Why do I still have to do work? Huh? Who is it at this time of night? It was already pitch black outside when the doorbell rang. Looking through the peephole, there was a crazy beautiful girl there. Um, who might you be? My name is Yuka Matsushita. I heard that you took care of you last night, so I came to thank you. You? Maybe it's a boy I helped. No, you didn't have to. Um, would you like to come in? Oh, okay then. I probably was just excited that such beautiful siblings came to visit me that I didn't notice something until after they came in. Hmm? Why is you wearing knee-high socks and a skirt? Thank you for helping my sister. What, a sister? Um, yes. You is my sister. Come to think of it, we didn't introduce ourselves. What? No, 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 because at first I thought she was just a pretty boy. But now that she's wearing girls' clothes and makeup, anyone can see that she's definitely a beautiful androgynous woman, which is probably why I couldn't tell. You. If he mistook you for a man, were you doing it again? S sorry What are you talking about? You has always been different. When she's thinking deeply about a recipe, she just starts walking aimlessly. She purposely chooses worn-out clothes as well. Um, recipes? Um, yes. You is a famous patissier at a famous patisserie. Um, I'm still very incompetent. That's not true. You just won the Dalso category of the contest. It's amazing that you're competing internationally without help from your family. But you just bought a company. A company? Yeah. Yuka manages Montan Company. Her grandfather founded it and our father is a second generation. My sister is said to be the next president. Montan Company? That's the same company I work for. It's a very big company. Oh, the same company? Oh, I'm from Haraguro Company and my name is Masato Kamiki. Haraguro Company? That company's famous for being exploitative. We can't let someone like you who helped my sister work at a place like that. Oh, um, well, it's a call for my manager. Please, give that to me for a second. Hey, Masato, I accidentally deleted the paperwork you made when I was drunk, so could you send it again? The deadline is by noon tomorrow, but send it immediately. You can do it, right? We refuse. It's your mistake, so maybe you should take responsibility. Who are you? What right do you have? I heard how you treat Masato-san. I won't allow you to treat him in such an unreasonable way anymore. Hey, wait! We have proof of how exploitative your work hours are. And Masato could even file a lawsuit against you, you know. What? Me? Isn't she bluffing too much? I thought so, but maybe something clicked, or maybe just because he was drunk, my manager suddenly quieted down. Um, wait. Masato is one of our best workers, so let's not talk about lawsuits. We couldn't lose him either. All right, then. Please stop ruining his week by calling him in the middle of the night, then. And you can make the paperwork you were talking about earlier as well, right? Y yes Okay, goodbye. Th thank you. It's nothing. You helped my sister, so this is the least I could do. <laughs> well, I thought you were amazing at bluffing. No, my sister's face was telling the truth. What? Yes, and the proof I was talking about earlier about the exploitative working hours. Last year, I recruited an ex Haraguro company worker and heard it from them. You said that your name was Master Kimiki, and I've heard great things about you. Would you consider working for our company? What? Are you serious? Of course! My shop is near the company, so come eat my cake anytime. Good morning! Good morning, Masato! And a month later, I actually started working at Manton Company. My salary is higher than before, and other than the busy periods, I don't overtime either. I'm living a super healthy life. And furthermore, Yuka-san smiles at me at work. After work, I go to use patisserie and buy snacks. I'll be leaving now! Oh, Masato-san! You were amazing in the meeting the other day! Oh really? That's good. Any way I can help. You're more than a help. We need you in the company now. I'm happy you think so. Oh, speaking of amazing, have you tried to use new creations? I think she came out with it this week, so I'm stopping by on my way home. You're going again? What? I get that she's the first one you met, but I'm the one who changed your circumstances. What? No, 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 you're misunderstanding. 
You sound shop was on TV again, so I just wanted to check it out. Really? Yeah! Okay then, I'll be, I'll be on my way. Hmm, every time I bring up you in front of Yuka, she gets in a bad mood. I need to be careful. Welcome. Oh, Masato-san. Yusan, I came to buy some again. I'm glad. This is a taster for my next new one. Please, try it. Oh, already a new one? You're really such a hard worker. Mmm, it's good! Yusan, it's really good! That's good. If you're okay with it, I can make it for you every day. Huh? So basically, um, you know, me and you. Um, Yusan? You, wait! Yuka-san! Yuka? Masato-san is someone from our company. What are you gonna do if his blood sugar levels are disturbed from all the sugar and it impacts his work? Uh, oh, so you're telling me that he's living his life to work? And I need to repay him for helping me anyway. But I'm the one that improved his circumstances! What? Just because you improved his circumstances, you're gonna force him to be together in the future? No! Um, both of you? Sato-san, uh, what do you want to do? Me or my sister? Which one do you want? No, um, yeah, I can't do this. Of course I can't choose! And thus, my somewhat eventful life started. How about I give you personal lessons to teach you everything you need to know, Keisuke-san? What? My name is Keisuke Suguria. I'm an ordinary office worker. I live with my parents until I started working, which isn't something to be proud of. Mom, what's for dinner tonight? Cream stew. Why don't you take a bath while I finish up? Okay, thanks. My mother made every meal I needed to live. I never had to cook, so when I started living alone, there was no way I could suddenly cook by myself. I had no idea what to do in a kitchen. Mom always says I should cook my meals. Meh, I can start any time. I'll buy an bento at the convenience store tonight. Just for today, I'll start tomorrow. Excuses and running from reality led to a massive weight gain. I used to be as skinny as a pixie stick. Now I look like a hippopotamus standing on two feet. Eesh, gotta do something about this. I know I'll get sick if I keep gaining weight like this, but what can I do? So, uh, do you know any good gyms? You can go to the gym all you want, but nothing will change if you don't fix your diet. Oh, there's nothing I can do about that. I have zero cooking skills. Zilch. Nothing this will come in handy. Uh, cooking Gokan? What's that? I've never heard of it. It's not a cooking class? It's for single people. You know, whenever you go to a cooking class and all you meet are married or taken women, they're all taken. They came up with this cooking Gokan for singles to meet through cooking. All the girls you'll meet will be single. You'll bond with girls who are cooking together, and if you're lucky, you get a girlfriend. Plus, you'll learn how to cook. Talk about killing two birds with one stone. <laughs> I met my girlfriend through a cooking Gokan. I promise you'll have a great time. That was my first time hearing about a cooking Gokan. I immediately looked it up, but all the Gokans around my area were full. Gosh, I guess that's really popular. Oh, they're still accepting of this place. It's a little far. I hope it's worth it. The day of the cooking Gokan. This is nice. Everybody here looks so laid back and friendly. Thank God. I don't like being surrounded by party animals. There's something about girls wearing aprons. They all look so pretty. My heart is already beating fast. I would love to marry somebody who looks good in an apron. I could buy matching aprons with my wife and we could cook together. <laughs> that would be fun. Gosh, I haven't even started cooking and I'm already dreaming about my future wife. I hope nobody saw me smirking. That wouldn't be a great first impression. I looked around the room and noticed a girl looking this way. Hmm? <laughs> I've never seen such a beautiful woman before. I swear she just smiled at me. Oh my gosh, my heart is racing. So this is love at first sight. I couldn't keep my eyes off her at that moment. The host started explaining the cooking process, but to be honest, I wasn't listening at all. She's so cute and beautiful. Let's get started. You may all move to your assigned tables and start. I walked towards my table, and I found out I was at the same table as a pretty girl. Hi there, I'm Miho Suzuki. Yeah, it's nice to meet you. I'm Keisuke Suzura. This is my first time, but I'll try my best. <laughs> You don't have to be so nervous. Let's have fun. She looked even prettier close up. I prepared myself to go all out. Yes, God is telling me to go for it. This is my chance to show Miho-san I'm a guy with her time. I'll be in charge of cutting. I don't want you to hurt yourself. Oh, thank you. Does this look okay? 
The way you cut the veggies is so manly. But we're putting them in the Hamburg steak. You might want to mince the onions so we can mix them in. Huh? Oh, yes, you're right. Crap, I'm already screwing up! Oh, you're naughty. You weren't listening to when the host was explaining, were you? Oh, <laughs> is that obvious? Let's see. Now we have to knead the meat mixture. Okay, I got this. You can count on me. I can't let her hands get dirty. I should do this. <sighs> it's so cold! <sighs> My fingers are freezing! <laughs> it's because we just took the ingredients out of the refrigerator. Here, my turn. I'm used to the cold. It doesn't bother me that much. Huh? I I'm sorry. Mihal san's hands are on my shoulder. Heisuke san is so cute. He's trying to show off by taking the lead. And he's failing in every way possible. <laughs> he's so desperate and adorable. Heisuke san, you keep coming over to me. You shouldn't meet the other girls, too. Huh? I, I didn't realize I was doing that. Really? Maybe I'm wrong. I was hoping I was right. That way we could get to know each other better. Uh, you were right. I would love to get to know you. Please, give me a chance. <laughs> hey, san you're so fun to play with. Oh, uh, how about I start cooking the meat? That shouldn't be too hard. If you say so, I'll stand by and watch. Once I finished cooking the Hamburg steak, we sat down to eat it. Oh, it's still raw. The outside is burnt, and the inside is still pink-colored. What? Gosh, I'm so sorry. I thought you said you could do it. This is disappointing. I did. Uh, should we throw it out? Nope. We can microwave it until the raw parts are cooked. That should solve the problem. Don't worry. I'll help you eat it, okay? Ugh, I'm such a loser. I'm causing so much trouble for her. She probably thinks I'm so pathetic. From there, I decided to stay out of her way. Lastly, we'll have to take a few minutes for you to exchange numbers with each other. Heisuke-san, here! Are you sure? I wasn't confident about getting her number, but Miho-san took out her phone to show me her contact information. That night... <sighs> that was fun! keisuke san is too cute! I don't meet many guys who are so fun to tease. Oh, keisuke san sent me a text. Time to have fun! It was nice meeting you today. I'm sorry for all the trouble it caused. I'll practice at home. I'll be better prepared for the next one. I'm glad you texted me, keisuke san But I wasn't expecting it. Hmm, I wonder... Did you contact me because you wanted to see me... again? Uh, I don't know if I should admit she's right. I felt like I would lose. I'm texting everyone I met at the Gokan. I wanted to thank you all for a great time. Oh my, was I too forward? I can tell he's pulling back. That's too bad. Am I the only one who thought we were special? Uh, oh no, now I sound like the bad guy. Uh, of course not! I would love to cook with you again, Miho-san. Okay. Do you want to learn from me? Cue this overload? How is she doing this to my heart? I'm going crazy over here! <gasps> Do you want to go to the cooking school together? Or are you talking about another Gokan? I hope she doesn't say Gokan. I don't want her going to another one. She could meet somebody. How about a private lesson at my place? What do you think? Huh? Am I in a rom-com movie or something? I can't believe this is actually happening to me. I spend the next week preparing myself for anything that could go wrong. I felt giddy and excited. Before I knew it, the weekend came. She's inviting me to her place. That means she trusts me, right? Or does it mean she doesn't see me as a guy? Oh, that would be horrible. I'm getting closer to her place. Is this really gonna happen? Am I really that lucky? I'm so confused. What is she thinking? I had no idea what Miho-san's intentions were. My mind was going in circles. Welcome! I'm so glad you're here. Th thanks for inviting me. However, none of that mattered anymore. Her smile was enough to make me forget everything. Her clothes are more casual today. She looks so good in her clothes, I could watch her all day. Hey, stop staring at me. You're making me blush. Oh, my bad. How about we go inside? We should get started. Uh, what, what are we starting? Watching movies. Watching movies? The omelette rice made in the movies looks so delicious. I was thinking we could make it. Watching the movie could get us in the mood and boost our motivation. The food in the movie looks great, but the story is entertaining too. Oh, I see. So that's why you told me to come so early. I followed Miho-san into her place and sat down where she told me to. We're sitting on the couch watching a movie next to each other, alone. Don't you think we're kind of like a couple? How did you know what I was thinking? Heisuke-san, I can read most of your thoughts from your expression. It's pretty obvious. It's like she's psychic. Amazing. Miho-san, do you like movies? We have a massive collection. I do! Do you feel good knowing more about me? Yeah, I've always wanted to have a girlfriend I could talk to about each other's interests. I'm really happy right now. 
Talking at a go-con isn't enough to fully understand somebody. I would have never known you liked movies if I didn't get a second chance to meet you. I see. We continued chit-chatting while watching the movie. Two hours passed by fast. The movie ended a lot faster than I expected. Well, now that we've finished watching the movie, it's time for a lesson. I'll teach you step by step. I'll do my best, Miho-san. I won't let you down. First, we'll start with cutting the vegetables, as we did at Cooking Gokan. Uh, wait! Why are your arms around me? We're supposed to be cooking! I'm going to teach you how to use a knife. I could show you how to hold it by putting my hands around yours. Just relax, focus. We don't want the veggies to turn out like they did last time, do we? Something soft is pushing against my back. Ah, stop, focus! You need to keep your eyes on the vegetables. Cut them, mince them! You're doing great. Much better than last time. Now, let's put all the ingredients in the pan. We need to stir fry them. Um, I'll be fine on my own from here. Stir frying isn't that difficult. You don't have to have your arms around me anymore. No way. I'm the teacher. I get to do the lesson the way I want to. You messed up the Hamburg steak. I don't think I can trust you with stir fry. Again, I apologize for screwing that up. Miho san, can I ask you something? Have you ever invited somebody you met at a Gokan over to your house before me? Of course, many times. M many times? The last guy I called over, we had a little too much fun. We stayed on the couch the whole time, didn't quite get to the cooking. Uh, I don't want to hear it! Please stop talking now! I'm just kidding, Keisuke-san, you're so innocent. How cute! What? Uh, which part were you kidding about? Keisuke-san, you're the first one. Y you're lying again, aren't you? Oh, I'm sad you thought I was like that. Do I seem like that type of girl? I didn't realize you saw me as a slut. I'm shocked. That's not what I meant. It's just, Miho-san, you're beautiful. I'm sure you've got guys all over you. I guess jealousy got the best of me. Keisuke-san, can't you see I have my arms around you and only you? I don't want you thinking about anybody else. Focus on what we're doing right now, or the food is going to get burnt. Whoa, that was close! Now, we make the omelette. Slowly slide it over and let it fall on the rice. Keep your attention on the fire. Yes, you did it! You're better than I expected! Miho-san taught me everything I needed to know step by step. My omelette rice was a success. I'm finished! Let's eat! Time to dig in! Mmm, it tastes amazing! Did I really make this? You've improved! No more raw hamburg steak for you anymore. Well done! Uh... You put in so much effort today. I think you deserve a reward, Keisuke-san. A reward? Like what? Do you like me? I'll feed you if you admit your feelings towards me. Uh, so she knew all along! God, I knew it! At that moment, I knew Miha-san had been teasing and playing with me the whole time. She knew I was head over heels from the beginning. Come on, don't keep a girl waiting. I... I? I, I like you! From the moment I first saw you, I fell in love with you at first sight! <laughs> oh, I love how honest you are. I'm proud of you for admitting your feelings. Here, open up. I don't think I'll ever stop liking you. <sighs> hmm, so you really like me. It was too late to turn back. Mihal san had me wrapped around her finger. And we'd only met twice. She's a teaser, but also has a caring, gentle side. I can't wait to get to know her more. I like how cute you are, Keisuke san. Uh. I'm looking forward to teasing you even more from now on. I'm starving. My name is Yuta Saito. I'm just a regular office worker. I didn't buy rice. I guess I can go buy something. Let's have Montan Takoyaki when you're hungry. It's delicious. Takoyaki, huh? I don't want Takoyaki all of a sudden. There's a nice little Takoyaki store about 30 minutes from here that has been around for a long time. It's a little far, but I guess I'll go grocery shopping while I'm at it. All right. I got ready to go out and headed out to go buy Takayaki. I heard some commotion coming from next door. I opened the door and saw a large amount of workers moving around. I guess they're moving? I didn't know there was a couple living here. Whatever, it's Takayaki time! Two hours later, I was done shopping. I had a great time being out for the first time in a while. I bought a large box of Takayakis and was headed home. Phew, I stayed for a while. Time flew by. Ugh, I'm so hungry. I want to hurry up and eat this Takayaki. I was mumbling to myself while climbing up the stairs to my apartment when... Well, what? It's just like a goth. Is this what you call an emo goth? I've never had any interactions with this kind of person, but I had to walk past her to get to my apartment. The mood was all weird, but I decided I would have to say something. Um, are you okay? <laughs> I'm wearing no makeup! What? 
God! Why are you dumping Lulu? I'll do anything! Please, stay with me! Wait, hang on! Are you hungry? Did you want to have some takoyaki? Takoyaki? She likes the takoyaki. Are you sure? It's not Lulu's. Um, I'm not gonna just leave you alone. This is your room, right? Go eat inside. Lulu doesn't have a house anymore. What? I'm all alone now. I'm going to be alone forever. Yeah, I was always alone. This is normal. This is way too much for me. What does she mean you don't have a house? I'll let her into my house, but she's clearly underage. How old are you? I'm 23. We're the same age? Why are you asking a girl her age? <laughs> How rude. Oh, sorry, I was just cautious, sorry. Okay, how about you come over, huh? We can talk about what's going on more inside. Ugh. I can't believe the first girl I invited into my home would be an emo goth. Sorry, it's kind of a mess. Here, sit on this. Thanks. Okay, so tell me what's going on. Hmm? Um... I don't like sitting far away. Um, this is the first time we've met. I don't want you to think that I'm gonna do anything. <laughs> you don't even need me near you. <laughs> okay, okay, you can come next to me. Yay! I kept telling her that I was not gonna make a move on her before I decided to listen to what she had going on. Her name was Lulua. Weird name. Are you some kind of band fan or something? Yeah, Lulu fell for Shukibi on the internet, and I came up to Tokyo to see them. And the person that lived next to me was a band member. Yeah, we started dating immediately and kind of lived with each other for a while, but I came over after work today and I noticed the house was empty. Ah, it was a move earlier. Yeah, that, that guy next door did seem a little weird. And the girl he was with wasn't this girl either. Apparently she was being cheated on. Poor girl. You can't go to your parents' house? Lulu's parents are in Hokkaido, and we got into a fight before I left, so I can't really go home. I used to always eat takoyaki back home, so it's really good. She's like a little squirrel. How cute. I mean, so what are you gonna do now? I don't want to be in a world without Shukibi, so I guess I'll just... Uh... Stop! Do not take that thought further! There is definitely good in the world worth living for! But Shukibi was Lulu's everything! He said he loved me! He said he wanted to marry me! The more I hear, the worse that guy looks. You're like him. Huh? You look like him without makeup. He wore makeup? Yeah, he wore more makeup than I did. He was super emo. I don't know what you want me to say. I just kind of look like him. Do you have savings? I spent most of my savings on Shukibi. They wouldn't be able to make enough to get by with their music. So you should save up first, and then we can find you a place to live. I helped you out this much, so if you want, you can stay here until you're set. What? Are you sure? I don't have any money for rent. I don't have any hobbies, so I've got a lot of savings. If you want, we could half utilities. Only until you stabilize. Yay! Oh, thank you! Ugh, I'm not Shakipi! I was acting a little brother than normal, but I didn't want to leave this girl all alone. I didn't want to chase her away after letting her into my house, so I started life with Lalua. A few days later, well, that's a lot of boxes. <laughs> Emo God's clothing isn't exactly simple, you know? Do the clothes not get squashed in the boxes? It's fine, no worries. I'll fix it when I wear it. Okay. Are you hungry? I can cook. Huh? You can cook? Yeah, I save a lot of money by cooking. The Lua cooked me a nice hamburger in about 30 minutes. Whoa, this is delicious! Yay! My ex, Chupiki, also loved it. I see. Maybe being poor makes you good at cooking, huh? What? Are you making fun of Lulu? No, no, not at all. She cooks for me and cleans too. Huh? Was my bath this clean? Oh, Lulu washed it for you. What? Sorry for making you do that. <laughs> you look like Shukibi, so it's fine. I just want to do everything for you. I see. Am I being compared to her ex? What do I care, though? She's gonna leave as soon as she saves up money. I kept telling myself that, but this continued on for half a year. I was so used to living alone that it was weird to have a woman living with me, but I actually started having fun with her around. Then one day... Hey, Lulu has been saving money well. Oh, okay, great. She suddenly said that to me, but I was actually a little sad to be honest. I figured she was going to be going someday, but... Thank you so much for helping me out, Yuta. It's almost the end of the year, so I'll take care of cleaning up the house. Oh, I hope too. Hey, Yuta! What is this big box? Don't touch that, Lulua! S sorry 
Oh, so sorry. I'm gonna go out for a second. Yuta. What am I doing, yelling at a woman? Shame on me. Two hours later. I wasn't sure if this would make her feel better, but I bought some takoyaki from the store I went to the night I met her. I'm home. Yuta, I'm sorry. I looked. It was a guitar. The Lua, you... Why are you mad about it? I thought you said you didn't have any hobbies. I just dabbled in it. Why did you quit? I just felt that I didn't have talent, is all. Okay, let me listen. I figured you'd say that. That's why I hit it. What? Your ex is a band guy, right? You're already comparing me to him because I look like him. I didn't want you to think that he's better. Yuta, you sound like me. What? You're kind and don't use my money. You don't cheat on me. I don't think I like old Chupiki. I have been feeling like I like you more for a long time now. That kind of negative thought is just like Lulu. Lulua? You need to be confident and be yourself. Sorry. It's okay. Anyway, I'll pay for everything you've done for me. Huh? Oh. She's gonna leave anyway, huh? I took the money and I found that there was clearly more money than rent from when she started living here. Wait, um, I think you've put too much in here. Huh? Because I'm going to be living here for more. F for more? Lulu has fallen for you a long time ago. You're my new Shupiki. What? You like me too, right? You said you don't want to be compared? Oh, uh... You don't want to go out with me? Th no, I want to go out with you! Yay! Then I'm gonna let you blow off all the steam you've been holding in. Uh, holding in? What is she gonna do? Alright then, let's get started. Wait, I'm not ready! Play the guitar for me! Huh? You can play, right? I mean, yeah, but... What? Oh, what were you expecting? N nothing. Oh, come on. Anyway, play already! I want to hear a ballad! I feel like your taste in music has changed too. How about the Brass Band Club? Let's go to beat some demons together! I've got some great cursed objects! My name is Yuichi Hirano. As you can tell by the invitations the clubs I've been getting, I'm a fresh 18-year-old college student. I finally got into this college after studying hard, and I was supposed to be living a happy campus life, but... Oh, I'm so hungry. I've been spending my days as a poor, starving student. I mean, it's my fault for using all my allowance for food, but... Ugh, I've only had mayonnaise since this morning. How about band? Hmm? We're going to be having a party, so why don't you come on by? Whoa, she's so beautiful. I didn't expect someone like that to exist. Band club, huh? I don't know anything about instruments or any popular music, but... Free food, though. I guess I'll swing by. So I made my way to the band party. Oh, I'm so hungry. This must be the place. Wow, there are so many people. I didn't realize it was this popular. What? You haven't had anything to drink yet? Huh? Here, I'll pour you one. It's really good. Oh, I, uh... I guess they confused me for someone else? They were messing with me, but then I heard the beautiful voice from earlier. Hey, stop it, you two. That's a new freshman. Oh! That beautiful woman from this morning was there. Huh? Oh, crap. It really is someone random. Sorry, you look like one of my friends. I was about to give you booze when you're a minor. Sorry. Sorry about that. Welcome to the new band party. Uh, thank you. It's that same girl that was advertising. She's even prettier up close. Okay, Yuita-kun. I'll write your name on this cup and... You're okay with juice? Uh, thank you. Alright, cheers! Cheers! My name is Miyoko. Did you come by because you're interested in music? Oh, I... Oh. Ah, you're after the food. Sorry, I'm sorry. It's okay. You don't need to apologize. Most of the people that show up to this party are after the food anyway. Here, eat up. Wow, that looks so good. Everything is so delicious. This piece of crust, it's so good. Really? I'm glad. It's worth the effort of getting it prepared for the morning. Huh? You made this pizza? Yeah, it's cheaper than buying it, and I personally like cooking, so... Oh, here, have some of this beef. It's so good. You're like a pro. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. Oh. You eat a kid. You drinking your juice? Well, uh, yes, I am. Thank you. Eat up and drink up. Enjoy the music. Huh? You all right, let's bust out a song, huh? A guitar? Miyoko was banging out some sick chords on the guitar and singing. She was so beautiful and badass. A lot of the other members also played after she did. It was great music with great food. 
I had so much fun, and before I knew it, uh, phew, I'm finally good. I guess you shouldn't eat so much on an empty stomach, huh? I wonder if they're still performing. Oh my gosh, everyone's just drunk and passed out. Everyone must have already left. I couldn't make any new friends. Hmm. Oh, Miyoko-san! Huh? You're here? I thought you went home. <laughs> I had to take care of something. Yeah, everyone just passed out. Oh, just so you know. You're not forcing me to do this or anything. I'm just cleaning up because I think that it's better to clean up now instead of waiting till tomorrow morning. Um, can I help you? Oh no, that's not necessary. You're a newbie. I don't want you to be doing the grunt work. It's okay, let me help. You gave me a meal and great music, so I'd love to do something for you. Wow. Well, then, I guess thank you. Oh, it's okay. I hope I didn't make it awkward for you to join this club. Not at all. Here, take this. It's leftovers from last night. Huh? Really? You seem to really love it, so yeah, eat up. Can I come again later? Huh? I don't know if I'll actually join the club, but the food was delicious and the music was great. Plus, I was happy when you were kind to me, ma'am. No, I'm just surprised that you're so mature for someone who's 18. I'm gonna fall for you. Huh? Okay, I'll be waiting. Okay. Heya. Hey, Yuita. Huh? The pie's in start until 7 p.m., what's up? I figured I'd teach him how to play guitar. Huh, what? You're already that close to Miyoko, huh? Oh, that's incredible. Yeah, he helped me clean up while you guys were knocked out cold. Oh, uh, I see. Okay, let's go to practice, huh? Uh, okay. <laughs> see ya! He's smiling but glaring at me. You must like Miyoko-san. This is your guitar. How's it feel in your hands? Oh, my dad actually owned a guitar, so I've touched the guitar before. Then you must know guitar chords, right? Chords? Yeah, it's called harmony on a piano. Uh, harmony? In other words... Whoa! You take your left hand fingers and hold these six strings together. If you hold this and this, it's a D. If you hold here and here, it's an A. You're really close. You're too close. At first, it'll hurt your fingers, but in a month, your skin will have hardened and it won't hurt. Okay. All right. Let's learn three chords today. Great job. You're a natural genius. You're, you're exaggerating. I've only learned three. Honestly, if you just remember C, D, and G, you can play like a third of all the music in the market. Really? I mean, there's F chord, which is considered one of the worst chords for a guitar, but, well, yeah, it's fun. You strum it and music sound comes out. <laughs> How cool is that? I see. It's not just me either. You seem to have fun too. Huh? All right, let's go back to the club room. We need to get ready for the party. Oh, I help. It's okay. I don't want... <sighs> okay, <laughs> whatever. Everyone's out again. This is what normally happens. You're drunk today, though. <laughs> I'm having so much fun. Thank you for helping me put things away. No, I do this because it's fun. Really, I just wanted to be with her. Do you always clean up alone? <laughs> you figured it out, huh? I mean, it's been that way both times that I've come here. I told you before, but I do this because I want to. These guys have other things to do. Part-time work, lectures. I've still got a lot more free time. I like watching them sleep peacefully. <laughs> oh, Miyoko. It's obvious what he's dreaming of. Um, I want to join this club. What? Seriously? I mean, you're kind and guitar is fun. I want to play music with you all. Oh, I'm so happy! Whoa! Okay, Miss Miyako is gonna show you the ropes. You don't have to get so close for that. You're drunk, get off of me! Ugh, I woke up because it was loud, but... Yeah, it's too awkward to wake up now. Miyako! That's how I officially joined the band. I was gonna save up money for a guitar, but I borrowed my father's guitar that he sent me from home. I loved spending time with the new club members and all the other guys in the band. But I didn't realize it at the party we had before summer break. Yuita-kun, here you go. Juice for you. You want some cocktails, right? Thanks, that's perfect. Miyoko, do you have a second? Huh? Well, what's wrong? I, I want you to listen to me. I wrote you a love song. Huh? What? A love song? That's literally him asking her out, but... The title is... Stop! Uh, Miyoko! I'm sorry. I can't listen to that song. Oh? Huh? I have someone else I'm interested in. Huh? She likes someone? Who is it? Uh, oh, okay. That can't be helped, huh? Sorry about that, Miyoko. Let's go. What? What, what are you doing? Stop pulling me! Sorry, we're gonna cheer him up over there. Good luck! Huh? But Miyoko! Wow. Oh, you have someone you're interested in, huh? 
Yeah. That man must be lucky, having a girl like you fall for him. Who is it? It's you. Huh? Of course it's you. What? Wait, you really didn't notice? How slow are you? N no, because that's not possible. You would like me? I, I thought about it a couple of times, but that was absolutely my misunderstanding. You were just being kind. Wait, Takoon. I don't just jump onto people that I don't know unless I like them. I won't teach them guitar, and I won't be drunk and clinging. Oh. I mean, at first, I wasn't really sure about it, but after three months, I definitely know. Um. <clears throat> so, um, I don't have a love song for you, but I'd love if we could maybe date. Whoa! I love you so much. Let's get married. I, I think you're moving too quickly. Please! Okay, okay. Uh, calm down first. This is how I asked her out and we started dating. The other member was openly and cleanly rejected, but he ended up dating another member. It was all perfect. A few months after we started dating, I couldn't make anything cool like a love song, but I tried to make sure to tell her that I like her every day. I love you. I love you too, Yuita. What did you think of today's episode? Please come back tomorrow for more. Thanks for watching. Bye.